research that will change your world from the University of Calgary, U of C. This is now. What I found is the um, evidence that early, early Homo sapiens, about 100,000 years ago, were eating a number of plants, but some of them are actually wild grasses eh, that we identify as sorghum. It is significant because it is the earliest evidence we have for a pre-domesticated cereal uh, use in any society, any place. So this is so far the oldest uh, evidence of Homo sapiens using uh, cereals. I think it's telling us about the complexity that diets and behavior uh, are taking on uh, at the beginnings of the last ice age. Right? Yeah, I think it's telling us about intensification, new ways of uh, looking at how to exploit the landscape and get resources from that landscape. So we actually live and work in a village called Nyawala that is in northern Mozambique. And so the local farmers know their countryside very well. So caves are visible. And if there is a cave, the locals know about it. So we asked them about those caves. They took us to the caves. Uh, and once we have the approval from the community, then we put together a team, about the, uh, 15, 20, 20 workers, and uh, excavate there on a daily basis from about 7 o'clock to 4 p.m. We found more than 500 stone tools in the uh, layers of that cave. With the scant archaeological evidence that we normally use in archaeology, what we can say is that the plants were being brought into the cave by humans and then presumably they were processing those plants with the stone tools that we found uh, through excavation. In modern African societies, what you do with sorghum is flowers, breads, beer, different beverages, even dyeing dying clothing, because sorghum produces a red, reddish uh, substance. So sorghum has a number of uses. Remember that this is not domesticated cereals we're talking about. So it really is about hunters and gatherers uh, using wild resources. And so what we see is that that complex behavior might date back uh, longer than we realized. So we go from 20,000 years of age to probably more than 100,000 years of age.